I treat uh, kidney cancer, bladder cancer, prostate cancer, and cancer of the genital organs. If the patient has a family member, whether it's an uncle or a brother or a son, who developed prostate cancer early in his lifespan, the, that patient's chance of having an inherited form of prostate cancer is way higher. It's two to 400 percent higher. And not only that their risk of developing prostate cancer is higher, they are prone to develop a more aggressive, a more serious type of prostate cancer. What we are trying to do in that space is to try to avoid unnecessary biopsies. In time, in the future, we'd avoid, be able to avoid biopsies completely to uh, diagnose prostate cancers. And the way to do this is uh, MRI of the prostate. MRI of the prostate has developed over the past few years so that it can give us more specific tissue details. Not only that we can tell that there is a lesion in the prostate, but with some certainty we can also tell if this is a significant lesion that we need to biopsy or is it just this is just part of the aging process and we just need we can just forego it and not, not biopsy that prostate. The other application is that if we have a patient whose PSA keeps on going up but he had multiple biopsies before and those biopsies were negative, then there is still the chance that he would have a serious prostate cancer that's just in a place or an area of the prostate that our needles are not reaching. But those needles just have a limited length, and those needles are not reaching the rest of the prostate that's not in contact with the rectum. So the patient would have a disease in, sitting in that area that we did not biopsy, and that disease would be the source of his PSA that keeps on rising. So now that we have the MRI of the prostate, we can better define, we can better look at the prostate and say, well, look, there is a lesion in the anterior part of the prostate, the part that we have not biopsied before, and we should target that area with, with our needles, and that's what's called MRI-targeted biopsy. We could avoid doing unnecessary biopsies using MRI of the prostate. We can better detect disease that being missed by just the usual biopsies by doing MRI of the prostate. And then the third part is actually being able to better plan surgery in patients who have high-risk disease. And we just had recently a case where a patient had an elevated PSA. He had diagnosis of prostate cancer. All of his, all of the other studies that were done on those patients indicated that the disease was localized to the prostate. But when we did prostate MRI, we, find out, we found out that the disease was actually outside the prostate. We avoided an unnecessary surgery on this patient that couldn't have changed his outcome. And by that, we have, we have, we have avoided the cost of the surgery to the patient. We've avoided uh, the complications of the surgery to the patient and we were able to get the patient to receive systemic therapy that could improve his survival much faster because we recognized earlier that he has a disease that's already outside the prostate.